In this tutorial, I'm going to go over miscellaneous items on the VFR terminal and sectional area chart. So we can look at the legend here, which says miscellaneous. One of the first things we see is isogonic lines, which are lines of constant magnetic variance, and they'll be in degrees east or west. Next, we've got ultralight, hang glider, and glider operations, which are given by the airplane symbol with the letter, which corresponds respectively. We've got a marine light, which is a filled in blue circle which could be like a lighthouse. We've got a parachute jumping area, which looks like a parachutist. And also it says here, see the airport facility directory, because it may give you information on what times and altitudes they normally perform their jumping operations. And then last but not least, we've got these VFR waypoints over here. And again, it says to see the airport facility directory for position information. Now, continuing on with these uh, VFR waypoints, Let's go to the bottom corner on the right of the sectional chart here, and we'll find an information box. Basically, what it's saying here is that these VFR waypoints are selected and named by the controlling agency, and they're not official names, so they are subject to change, but you should be aware of them. And what they're usually used for is if you're entering a Class B or Class C airspace, they'll have you notify them when you're over a certain checkpoint, and it will just give them an idea of where you are in relation to them very quickly. So let's see if we can find some of these airspace, or I guess miscellaneous airport airspace symbols on the chart. Now, if I go over to this area, we can see VPACE, which is one of those VFR symbols right away. Here we can see an isogonic line going across the map, which is 11 degrees west variation. If we proceed on up the chart, what we'll find over here is that we've got another VFR waypoint at this unprepared airport. We've got another VFR waypoint over this town. Here we can see a glider operation with a VFR waypoint. And I believe I saw a parachute operation, which was somewhat down here. Yes, there it is. And we can see we've got parachute operations over here. And we can see the new line of constant uh, variance or isogonic line, which is 12 degrees. And anywhere between these two, you could just interpolate based on the distance. So overall, very easily, easy to use. And those are the miscellaneous items.